been a consistent, insistent leader for victims of domestic violence in our community. And I want to give special recognition to Dan for his courage and his resolute advocacy for this part of public safety. Let's hear it. and we're all here because we care about women and their safety and we care about reversing the tide of gun violence that is plaguing our state and our city and the people that we love. We've had way too many reminders of how dangerous guns are and how toxic gun violence is to the health of our communities and the lives of our neighbors. And that's why I'm so proud to be here with Dan, with leaders from our county, leaders from our legislature who have labored so hard and under such withering criticism to make progress in our state legislature on gun legislation. So we're here to celebrate leadership and a community coming together to support the vulnerable. And I'm proud of the fact that we as a city have stepped up in this partnership. As Dan said, we budgeted nearly half a million dollars this year in our budget to support this important contribution to the effort from the Portland Police Bureau, a specialty unit that focuses on avoiding victimization by guns and domestic violence. Those officers are the front lines in this work, and their job is harm reduction. We have to intervene after the guns go off, but it is so important to try to get in front of the violence and avoid the harm in the first place and provide places of refuge like this for the victims or intended victims of domestic violence. So I'm really proud of this work. As a result of this, uh, as Dan said, we're gonna have these, these two officers, a sergeant and a county deputy, working together, staffed, equipped, and supported in order to do this work. That means that their cases are gonna get assigned faster, there's gonna be quick follow-up, and there's gonna be an incentive for victims and survivors to report. They'll know that law enforcement will really be there for them. So we're here to honor women and their safety. We're here to make investments that support their courage in a fearsome situation. And there are people here who represent those words better than I ever could. And one of them is Lizzie, who's the founder of the Disability, of the, of the uh, Disability Abuse Resource Team, DART, a project that provides crime services for domestic violence survivors with disabilities. She's the co-founder and author of Healing Pathways, which is an evidence-based program for women with disabilities experiencing significant depression. 